Hi, how are you? It's Deb from Tiny Deer Vintage, and I'm back with a sale today. I'm happy to be back. I uh, had to take a little bit of time off there for health reasons, and uh, yeah, so I'm excited today to be back and to show you some, some beautiful pieces. Um, some of the ones that you, well, the ones you see in front of you, I'm going to bring those today, and I'm going to be starting with this beauty today. Um, if you see something you'd like to purchase, I just need you to email me at tinydeervintage at gmail.com. That's always in the description box. I try to put it somewhere else too, just to make it easy for you to find me. Um, I just need a brief description or a screenshot or um, a timestamp to let me know which piece you'd like to claim. I accept PayPal, Square, and um, what's the other one? There's one more. What's it called? Oh, geez. Venmo. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I think I need a second cup of coffee this morning. Anyway, um, <clears throat> and shipping starts at $6 and goes up from there depending on the weight of your package and the location it is uh, going to. Okay, let's get started. So, this is a gorgeous vintage um, swirl glass necklace it is very long I have it wrapped three times as you can see um, let, let's take a closer look at it move this aside so this is swirl glass it is 54 inches long um, it appears to have the original stringing um, and clasp I don't remember seeing any markings on it and they're really beautiful. I would say these are um, an eight millimeter is what they look like to me. They're in beautiful condition, all hand knotted in between each and every bead. <clears throat> I've never knotted one this long, I can't imagine how long that would take. But um, anyway, this is it. It is beautiful. It's in amazingly good condition. Look at that color. Beautiful. Okay, and this little beauty is... Uh, I'll do 55 on it, okay? Um, it is a fun one to, um, to not... I've worn this a few times now, but... Um, it's just beautiful. Okay, enough playing with that. I'll put it right here for now. I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit if my stand will let me, because I feel like the screen's a little busy. Well, that's a little better. I covered up this bracelet. Let's do this bracelet next. Um, I showed this in a short uh, yesterday. This is sterling silver and labradorite. It's beautiful lab really um, uh, great labradorescence in these stones. Um, they're a good size stone as well. This is a larger length. This measures about eight inches and that is to this like soldered length. Um, you have a, a couple of extra links that someone added to this. They needed the length apparently. So I just left those on there for now. It's really well, oops, excuse me. It's really well made um, with the hinges in really good condition, all sterling silver. Um, I did acid test this. Um, the little clasp, I don't remember if it's marked. Yes, it is. So um, this is for scale. Let me show you how it sits on my wrist. Um, so it's a good opportunity for someone with um, a larger wrist, right? Um, and what did I mark this at? I know this this is a really good deal on this one. Uh, do I have another? Oh, I do. Okay. So I have two Labradorite bracelets today, uh, and this one is. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time reading my own writing. I apologize for that. Did I not write it in here? Shoot, 
hold on one second, I'll have to pause you. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so this is $68 today. Really beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Up next I have, uh, let's do these gorgeous wedding cake beads. So what I did today is I mixed some stone and glass. So we have both today, and these are mostly from my own collection. Um, this one is gorgeous, older, vintage. Um, here's your little screw clasp, um, screw barrel, I guess you'd call it. And then these glass beads, all hand knotted. You have your little uh, brass caps, and then these gorgeous sort of cornflower blue discs with these incredible large wedding cake beads. Look at that. Beautiful. This is a really stunning necklace. In amazing condition. Beautiful color. And let me tell you what this measures. This beauty is uh, 27 inches long. And here, let me show you what that looks like on the bust. And these beads are $65. I know that's too short, but I want you to be able to see them. Really beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Let me put this down again. Up next, I have. Um, a, let's do this other Labradorite bracelet. So. This one is more delicate than the one that I just showed. Which, where did I put that? Did I bury it? I did. I won't keep these here through the whole video. I don't like it when it starts to look really cluttered and, and messy. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this. So this is a more uh, dainty Labradorite. Again, beautiful labs. You have multicolors in, in these. The blues, some gold, some green. This one has a little bit of that uh, shutter effect. You see the lines in there, and even the lines like glow a different color. It's really beautiful. And this is a more modern one. This is from Turkey. It is sterling silver with a gold wash. Nice um, life preserver type clasp here. Nice big one, easy to put on and take off. I'll show you the back. It is signed. It's hard to see because it's etched in there, but it's signed right there, and it says, uh, I believe, 925 Turkey. There you go. And I'll show you the back. It does not show where. Um, there's still that gold wash is all intact. Nice um, hinges here. You can see those. Really beautiful cabs. And then here's your little closure. I don't remember what this measures. Let's see, did I write this one down? It's seven and a half inches. I'll show you for scale. Look at that. It, it's beautiful. Really beautiful. And at seven and a half inches, and this is, this is a tough one. I really love this one. I'll do 55 on this beautiful bracelet. Okay. 925 with a gold wash from Turkey. Okay, up next I have, let's do this Moonstone bracelet. This one is unusual. This is a different piece, but look at this Moonstone. I was gonna say, look at this freaking Moonstone <laughs> because it's beautiful. I had like a visceral reaction to it, but, um. So this is an interesting piece because I think that somebody married these pieces together. This is sterling and moonstone. It's good clarity. You can kind of see 
this uh, transparency in this moonstone so it's a really good quality um, this is I believe marked 925 and tested sterling and this is sterling as well these pieces that are sort of um, Art Nouveau looking beautiful and then you have this really chunky sterling clasp so there's a lot of sterling in this little beauty and let me open it up and show you what it looks like on the wrist um, this would fit an average wrist I didn't put the size down here but it does it fits me let's see it fits my um, six and a half inch wrist so I would say right now it could go six and a half and smaller um, you also can easily add links on here if you needed a little bit of extra room and that's what it looks like whoopsie and this little beauty is uh, $65 beautiful well done pretty piece look at that that moonstone this is a rainbow moonstone you see that all those colors okay next up I have uh, let's do a necklace I have this I showed this Labradorite necklace in a short and I had a really hard time capturing just how beautiful these beads are. Um, I bought these from a, a reputable dealer. They are really high quality. Oh, see now this is perfect. In the short they did not show up correctly. This is what they look like in person. They just glow from so many angles. And I made this necklace. Um, they are size 10 millimeter beads, so they're a good size. And then I put these little faceted pyrite stones in between. Um, they kind of ground the labradorite beads. Yeah, let me tilt this up a little. You can see as it moves, different beads will pick up the glow I'm so happy it's showing up because I, I tried oh my gosh I spent so long on that um, short that I did with this necklace and I just couldn't capture it it must have been because I was filming directly through YouTube that's got to be something there that caused that anyway here's this little drop so this is all sterling silver sterling silver beads sterling silver clasp this one's pretty. It's almost like a reddish glow. So this is it. And this little beauty measures, uh, let's see, it's 20, uh, 21 inches and it's $85 for the top quality Labradorite and Pyrite. You can practically see through them. They're just so beautiful. Look at that. You can see the blue there and then the kind of soft rainbow effect, like a prism. Okay, can you tell I, I love Labradorite? Uh, okay, next up I'm going to do this um, agate necklace. And I believe this is um, Botswana agate. I love agate as well. I have several pieces uh, of agate in my collection and this one is beautiful. And this is a piece that I restrung and um, I added these sterling silver ball beads and some little um, Daisy spacers, they're, they're called. See the ones with the little beadwork? Those are daisy spacers. And these agates are really stunning. You have these long, like, tube ones. And these are about an eight millimeter, the round ones. Really beautiful. 
they have a glow to them, a translucency to them, beautiful sort of muted neutral tones. Um, it's a really pretty necklace here. I am like, my camera is just so close. I have a hard time like backing it up and, and getting far enough away, but still being able to reach it. Maybe someday I'll master that. But here it is. And this little beauty, let's see, I'll tell you how long it is. It is 30 inches long. And I'll do a deal on this one today at $60. That's a bargain for these beautiful beads. Look at this one. And you can try after today, you can ask me, but if it doesn't sell in the next couple of days, I don't know if I'll be able to let it go. I might have to keep it, but always worth a try if you'd like to ask me. So that's $60. You can see I have some here. This is a personal necklace of mine, and these are Botswana agate as well. Okay. All right. So let's see. What's up next? Um, up next is this gorgeous pearl necklace that I made. Um, I bought this strand of pearls from my friend Sue at Denim to Diamonds here on YouTube. You should check her out. She has amazing sales. And sterling silver, silk cording, and then you have uh, these beautiful large pearls and I forget what millimeter these pearls are did I write them down I think they're like a 12 they're they're big and they have they're natural as you can see and they have beautiful um, luster what's it called in pearls knacker um, I feel like there's another word pearlescence <laughs> that makes sense right and again the daisy spacers in sterling and this one measures i believe it measures let's see is it 18 to 20 the pearl necklace yes 18 to 20 inches depending on where you clip it here and i will do this at 75 dollars they're gorgeous and that really is just about going to cover the cost when you think about all the, the sterling silver in this and um, I paid up for these gorgeous pearls um, so all the supplies and everything that's a really really good good deal and it's a beautiful piece okay so up next um, let's do let's switch it up let's do a brooch this is a beautiful lizard look at him this is a Carolyn Pollock. Um, I believe it's Relios. Uh, we'll look at it there. I'll take it off this pillow and we can look at the markings. Here, let me move my light. Beautiful inlaid stonework. Some um, gold gilding on this. He's beautiful. I He's from my own collection. Um, he's a piece that I had. I have like a an assortment on my denim jacket that I kind of switch around every now and then and I just switched it around so he's available but look how pretty he is and here is the you can tell right it's heavy there's a lot of sterling and substance in this piece so that is the little uh, C and R for Relios by Carolyn Pollock and nice straight pin. Look at the patterning on the back. It's just really well done. It's a beautiful piece. And this little guy is, let's see, an inch and three quarters. And he is, uh, he's $45. He's a beauty. And I did, um, comps I did look him up and um, I priced him lower than any of the ones that I saw because um, I like to pass on bargains as best I can so let's let's move some of these necklaces out the way okay
Okay. So that is that little cutie pie. Uh, let's see. And next up, uh, I showed the pearl. Let's do this lapis necklace. This is my last necklace for today. This is also another high quality stone. I bought it from the same supplier. Um, and these are also um, high quality beads, larger. These are size 10 lapis lazuli. You can see the beautiful pyrite in there and sterling silver. It's just beautiful. The blue is amazing. These are not dyed. These are natural. It has um, sterling closure, a sterling extender, a little sterling drop there. And if I can get my camera to focus, I don't know about this lighting. I hope the lighting is good today. I don't know. If, on my camera, it doesn't seem so great. Yeah, they're not showing up as light. Why is it not focusing? Sorry, I'm just trying to find a good spot to really show off these beauties. And let me give you a measurement on these. These beauties are lapis 20 to 22 inches. And I've marked it down to $75 and I, I, I can't go any lower than that on it or I'll end up uh, losing money between the beads and the materials. Really beautiful lapis. Okay. All right. I did the little. Let's do this little brooch. This is a little pretty Bow Sterling rose. Signed little beauty. Really pretty. In really good condition. All sterling. This measures about an inch and three quarters. Here's the little clasp. The clasp works. Let's see the little cartouche right there. Where, which way do I have my camera today? Okay, it's over here. Right there, it says Bo Sterling. Little rose, could use a little bit of polishing. Um, I wore it like this. This was another one that came from my, my denim jacket. And this little Bo Sterling rose is $25. Little beauty, all the little individual petals. Okay. All right, just a few more pieces. Let's get to some rings. How does that sound? Because I have some incredible rings today, I must say. Um, I'll start with, hmm, let's, let's build, let's build up. So this is a beauty. Look at this agate. It almost has, I'm trying to get rid of the reflections. It almost has like a jelly quality to it. Really beautiful here. Let's see if we can magnify it. Yeah, it, it's gorgeous. It's much prettier in person than what it's showing up on camera. The kind of stone I get lost in really beautiful and look at this design it's so well done this is sterling silver I believe this is a handmade piece you can tell by the way the stone is set and look at this detail this is so pretty vintage piece and look it even continues to the inside it's just a gorgeous gorgeous ring I can't remember it I Okay, so right there it says 925. I did test this. It is sterling silver. This is a size 7, so it does not fit me. Right? Is it a 7? Let's see. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so comfortable, too. I wish it fit me. Um, let's see. Oh, I didn't write the size. So here, let's put it on the ring mandrel. Let's see what it says. Look at that. It has really good presence, right? The face of the ring is a good size. And you can see right there, it is a seven. 
maybe a little bit of room for some spillage, but not much. And, um, you know, it, it is sort of a wider band. You see that? So, um, yeah, it's a beauty. If it fit me, I'd be keeping it. It's $45 for this old beauty. Really beautiful. Okay. Um, I'm going to save this glorious fire agate for last. We'll go out with a bang. So up next, I have this citrine ring. Um, the stone, it's a carved stone, really beautifully done. Um, I believe this is a di designer piece. You have some gold gilt on here. This is a, a large ring. This is a really big size. I'll check it. I think it's an 11. Really beautiful. Um, it does have a flaw on the inside. You can see how it's faceted on the inside. Really beautiful. Look at the clarity in that stone. Um, but it has this little, see it? It's like a chip that I think it's been repaired. Let me look again. Let me look with my loop. Because it's been a while since I looked at this ring. This is one from my collection. Yes, it's been repaired. So the chip is there. It's underneath. It's secure. You cannot see it uh, from the top. It is all intact. It is gorgeous show you that on my finger. Let me take this one off so it doesn't distract. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, let me tell you what it says on the inside because I don't remember if there were initials. Let's see. Yes, there are. Okay. Maybe I should have done a little bit more research. Oh, there's 18 karat gold on this. It says 18K S-T-E-R. So this is vintage and let's see, is this an 18K gold watch or actual 18K? Oh, Debbie, why do you do what you do? Um, yeah, I can't tell if that is just a gold gilt, but I think those might actually be gold. I know this is a designer piece. Um, I wish I could say who it belongs to as a designer, but I don't. I just know it's reminiscent of Dweck, somebody like that, but I can't claim it to be. Um, other than it is really gorgeous. And this ring, with that chip in it, I'll do it at a bargain price. Let's see. This is showing it as a ten and a half so you've got a little bit of room in there for finger spillage and I'll do this beauty I'll $75 which is and look it's faceted too on the top as well as being carved 75 is a real bargain it's a stunning ring I always get second thoughts when I start to do these, because look at that. Really beautiful, right? Okay, so is that it? Yes, that's my last piece. No, it's not. I said I was keeping the fire agate for last. So this is a special, special beauty. If you know Mexican fire agate, this one has so much fire in it. They're like bubbles and you have so many different colors greens and yellows and these like reds and oranges and here, let me get let me put this on Let's see if we can really look at that here, let me turn my light again because this is glorious I was so happy to find this one it doesn't have a lot of height to it which is nice if that's a concern for you. Um, I know with my daughter I can't buy her like chunky rings. She likes them like this, streamlined. And this is in sterling silver. And 
This one I believe is a nine and a half. Let me put it on the mandrel and see. It is stamped the full word Sterling and that was the only signature that I could find. Yeah, I don't see any other for signatures. Um, it's beautiful. Great fire. And let me see, let me put this on the mandrel and if you look up Mexican fire agates, you'll see, yes, this is the nine and a half. You'll see that um, they are fairly precious. And I will do this one today for $85. Grab it while you can. And this is going to be my last piece for today. I'm so glad I was able to, to bring some pieces to you and to do a video. Um, next video, I'm going to try to, to do some real bargain pieces. Because um, I know lately my pieces have been kind of higher end. And I miss bringing uh, some fun, less expensive pieces. Um, here, let's take a look at, where did I put the necklaces? Here they are. Let's take a look at what I showed today. I hope you saw something that you were interested in and you'll reach out to me. Um, I always love to see in the comments what you liked. Um, I'd even be interested in what you didn't like as long as it is, uh, kind. Okay, that's the key, right? Be kind. Um... And that's it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your week into the weekend. It's almost here. We've almost made it. <laughs> and take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.